Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Side Notes. I didn't do any side notes last week, and I'll get into why here in this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, no side notes last week, uh, and no video on Friday. I was having uh, excruciating pain in the side of my face. It's like uh, having a Charlie horse right in your temple. And I finally, it took two weeks of going through this to finally say hell with it. And this past Sunday, it's uh, Tuesday now, but this past Sunday I went to uh, the hospital and they said I might have temporal arteritis and that I need to be careful because if I don't keep up on it, I could lose the vision in my left eye. So I'm keeping up on it. So I got pain meds and so now I'm back at it. But uh, yeah, that's what happened to me over the last couple of weeks behind the scenes of the, when I was making videos is because I could shovel enough pain pills down my gullet <laughs> to make the pain manageable. I, I couldn't meditate through it. The only thing I could do to make the pain go away was walking. My, my walking meditation was the only thing that worked. And you can't make a video walking around. At least I can't. <laughs> it's kind of excruciating. Well, just to tell you the level of pain I was in, when I went to the doctor, they gave me a pill. They said this ought to work. Big old horse pill. Never seen it before. Pink with red red speckles. Did, didn't touch it. Didn't do anything. So next, about an hour later, they say, well, we're going to try morphine. So they try morphine. Didn't do anything. It just, what it was, what it's doing is this Charlie horse is so, it hurts so bad and that you could feel the muscles constricting so tightly that it's like pinching all the nerves in the surrounding area. So you have all these little side events, these little side pains, and the morphine, all that did was take it so those side nerves weren't being affected and it just hurt on the side. And the nurse came in and asked me, she said, so how's it working? I said, it didn't so much take the pain away as it made you just not care that you're in pain. And that's pretty much what it was. It's like, oh, I'm in pain. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> and I was able to just sit. And then I could relax enough to meditate. And the pain only was there when someone would bring it into focus. How's it feel now? Well, it was fine until you said that. <laughs> but, yeah, it still hurt. And uh, what actually knocked the pain out so I could function without having to just sit and concentrate on not being in pain, they gave me a pregnizone, I think it is, a steroid muscle relaxer. And uh, that's what's working. So now I'm able to make my videos. So the video I was going to make for this past Friday, I made yesterday. And then today's side notes kicks off this week's side notes. But uh, I have to come up with a whole new roster for this week because I was so under the weather. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I didn't make plans. I didn't. I usually plan my shows out, not with with like a script or anything. But I, you know points to talk about things like that and uh, I didn't even do that <clears throat> but like I said I'm back at it and uh, wow yeah it, uh, it it was painful it was painful anyway this past Friday was Halloween I, I missed that my favorite holiday of the whole year when the when the veil is the thinnest and the energy just is phenomenal for any of you that really super enjoy Halloween know what I'm talking about I just and I missed it I was stuck at home in excruciating pain no video games nothing I couldn't do nothing I could pace back and forth that was it and go outside and walk around and I think jumping in the hot tub worked for about 15 minutes but yeah I think I think what's, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a bunch of stuff looked at to make sure it's not temporal arteritis because I don't want to mess around and not 
keep up on it and end up losing the vision in my left eye. But hey, more importantly, I'm back at it. So, I don't know. I didn't have anything to talk about for this episode. I was going to, let's see what I had in store for last week's talking points. Uh, I was going to talk about, oh yeah, I guess I can talk about that. Being a gamer, I'm a gamer, and uh, some people have brought it to my attention that how can you be a spiritual person and be into playing violent games, and uh, I guess I put it like this, I understand that it's just a game, and within that sphere of involvement, I don't deviate from who I am just because it's a game and there's no penalties to my actions. I am still me. I don't go around causing trouble. I stick to the format of the game. If someone starts trouble with me, I deal with that trouble, but I don't go actively seeking trouble. And in that, I think that I am free of any negativity that can be projected into the game on my part or received from somebody else because I, I, I get the, the question that that was posed to me how could you do that because it's, it's a cycle of violence and this and that it's its own separate reality one and for two I understand that the universe doesn't distinguish from you making a decision in your everyday life and making a decision within the spectrum of a video game but you have to understand as I make the exact same decisions I would have made in my everyday life by not actively seeking confrontation but in my everyday life if I was presented with a situation I'm going to defend myself right or wrong I, I have that option and whether you re agree with what my choice would be that's between you and your God because if it's my decision to make who are you to question that decision but don't think I take it lightly I don't just slough it off as well it's not your decision no it's not your decision but I understand and I do take measures to make sure that the universe understands yes these are decisions that are being made but these are decisions that are being made within the context of this separate reality that is constructed for the sole purpose of recreation I'm projecting that while I'm playing people wonder why even my son asked well why don't you just run around killing people well because I don't run around killing people in real life so why would I do that here you know I defend myself but I don't actively seek it out he's the kind of person that'll jump on pick a target and just harass that person until either that person leaves or he figures out that he can't beat that person so he leaves him alone <clears throat> excuse me and he couldn't figure out why I don't do that I I guess I just didn't have it in me to explain to him the ramifications of the the, the signal that's being sent out to the universe when you tell the universe I'm gonna go kill this person it doesn't see I'm gonna go kill this person in the context of the game it just sees you going to kill this person now if I'm saying to the universe I'm going to defend myself it doesn't matter what context that's in I'm just defending myself so yeah <coughs> excuse me one more time <coughs> excuse me again but yeah but you gotta understand my son he's, he's he's just like me for the most part when we used to play Halo together <coughs> he'd be the he'd be the guy that you're in the thick of it and it's going down and he'd throw a sticky grenade on you and then laugh his ass off <laughs> I really miss playing Halo with him that was a lot of fun anyway <laughs> oh yeah that was fun team killing yeah anyway I'm a gamer I play several different games. They're not all just violence and gore. Some of them are just are puzzle games. 
but you probably don't agree with my motives and methods and whatnot, but I don't watch television. That's what I do. I don't listen to the radio. I play my video games and I go online and get my information. That's what I do. And I would accept anybody playing any violent video game over watching the content that we have to choose from on the television nowadays. So you can judge me for mine. I'll judge you for yours. How about that? Anyway, this has been a transplanted video from last week. <laughs> it should have been recorded last week, and I ended up having to record it today because of my medical difficulties. Anyway, this is me signing off. You guys hang in there.